حي على الفلاح حي على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وازواجه اجمعين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي ربي زدني علما اجمعين ان شاء الله ما لا سبحانه وتعالى increase in all of us knowledge السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ حرف جر یو گٹ ٹو بی پرامٹ برادر حرف جر یو گٹ ٹو سی لاؤڈلی حرف جر اس مجرور سی دس شوڈ گیٹ روٹ ان اوور سسٹم سو وین ایور یو ول سی حرف جر دا ناؤن دیٹ ول فالو ول بی is a majroor in other words if you have a harf char anywhere in the sentence now must follow they come together ha huh? harf char will have noun after it must 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 only noun okay uh, we have to understand this and brothers and sisters if it is fil baiti huh? if i say fil baiti what is fil baiti jarun wa majrur what is it jarun this is a short form of saying harf jar plus ism majrur so you you take a shortcut and you say jarun wa majrur later on you will say jar majrur huh? you will say jar majrur what does it mean that there is a harf jar followed by a noun which is which is majrur huh? remember then huh? majrur huh? you will please remember that okay and we will soon we will explore the different kinds of khabar 
वन बाय वन इन द फर्स्ट थ्री लेसन द खबर केम एज ए मुफरत वन वर्ड एंड यू कुड सी कन्वीन दम्मा ऑन इट आर यू विद मी ब्रदर अल किताब जदी दुन अल बाबू मफतो हन ओके अल बाई तु बाई दुन ऑल वर मरफू then in lesson number 4 we came to a new thing ha ar rajulu fil baiti ar rajulu fil masjidi no we have fil masjidi coming as a khabar harf jar majroor coming as a khabar sahi bada before it was one word now we are getting different kind of khabar which is in the form of jarun wa majrur so please uh, make a note of it we are going to get more of the uh, kinds of khabar coming inshallah and we will be learning one by one huh? okay brothers and sisters and now it is very important for us to memorize these uh, uh, pronouns 14 of them we will always start with a third person which is al ghaib al ghaib someone who is not in front of us huh? who is absent from us al ghaib and brother i told you the easy way is to count masculine feminine third finger masculine again fourth finger feminine okay and this is for both masculine and feminine huwa huma hum you should do it brother he he huwa huma hum hiya huma hunna anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna ana nahnu one more time you have been given new sheets uh, sister salma on that sheet is also the 14 pronouns can you see on your left hand side of the sheet brothers and sisters Hmm? Do you see? They are in groups. They are given to you in a nice way. Huh? Again, huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum, anti, antuma, antunna, ana, nahnu. One more time. Huwa, huma, hum, hiya, huma, hunna. अंत अंतुमा अंतुम अंति अंतुमा अंतुन्ना अना नहम यू गॉट टू मेमोराइज इट ओके ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर्स हुवा हुमा हुम हिया हुमा हुन्ना हुवा हुमा हुम हिया हुमा हुन्ना अंत अंतुमा अंतुम अंत अंतुम अंतुम अंति अंतुम अंतुन्ना अंति अंतुम अंतुन्ना अना नहनु अना नहनु सो आई विल बी गिविंग यू दिस लिटिल ट्यून टू टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड यू नो इफ यू कैन इवन मेमोराइज दिस मेलोडी you can sing to your husband or you can sing to your wife <laughs> or you can sing to your children huh? the whole idea is the whole idea is to memorize it so that we never ever forget are you with me brothers and sisters now uh, we went to we i think we completed page 22 is it correct brothers and sisters huh Brother well, Hassan, yes. we completed yes. page twenty-two. Okay, and this is where uh, on page twenty-three, uh, question number nine: Ashamsu wal kamaru fis samai. What is Ashamsu, brother? Mukteda. And then what is wa ataf? And what is al kamaru? Ma'atufun ala shams. Are you with me? Ma'atufun ala shams. Sahi, Brother Abdul Kader. Okay. And what is fi samai? 
جارون مجرون خبر جارون مجرون خبر and if you can remember شبو جملہ you can say شبو جملہ but if you don't say don't worry because later on you will get very comfortable with it you know so جارون مجرون is a phrase so what you are saying that جارون مجرون a phrase coming as a خبر so you say جارون مجرون شبو جملہ خبر what is شبو جملہ phrase خلاص you can say جارون مجرون شبو جملہ خبر because شبو جملہ can be different kinds but in this particular case the شبو جملہ is جارون و مجرون we will have other kind of شبو جملہ which will come later on brother you are coming here every day inshallah will produce results things that you cannot retain in your mind instantly but by coming here every day and listening to the teacher it will get settled in your hard drive we have a hard drive here it will get settled there inshallah okay brother and sisters now we come to page 23 section A ah huh okay brother on the right hand column you see what do you see brother names of masculine masculine names and on left rear column you see names of feminine okay i'm going to tell you a couple of new things okay you just will try to try to Uh, remember inshallah see all the masculine names have tanween at the end remember I told you an Arabic noun in its natural form is always marfu is always marfu okay so when you say Muhammad, Muhammad it is Muhammadun when you say Khalid it's Khalidun When you say Hamid, it's Hamidun. When you say Yasir, Yasirun. And when you say Ammar, it is Ammarun. And when you say Sa'id, Sa'idun. And when you say Ali, Aliyun. And when you say Abbas, Abbasun. Got the idea, brother and sister? Now, on your left hand side, you have Muannas. Feminine names, okay? Asmaul Mornas, okay? What is it, brother? Do you see the difference? That there is no Tanween. Why? We got to think. Brother, if there is something there, we got to think and say, why? I also, when I thought, I said, why is it Aminatu and not Aminatun? Then I realized, you know, Oh, females are, Allah has blessed them with a lot of beauty. They are all beautiful. Huh? Huh? Men, they are, they are uh, <laughs> rough, uh, plain. Huh? So, in Arabic language, the men's were given tanween, extra decoration. Two feathers, huh? tanween. The ladies are already beautiful. They got a lot of jewelry. They, you know, made them some beautify. So the Arabic language gave them one dumb, one dumb. You don't need because you are already very beautiful. So you don't need to. You don't need dressing up. You don't need dressing up. So you now this is, of course, it's not the way it is to be explained. Huh? I, I just joked with you. There is another joke, brother. Men are very strong. They can carry two than two dhammas. Sisters are weaker than men. They cannot <coughs> carry two <laughs> dhammas. <laughs> They can barely handle one dhamma. So that is what it is. One dhamma at the end of a noun of a female and two dhammas at the end of the noun of a man. But the real reason is, brother, okay, that later on we will learn That Aminatu does not decline as Muhammadun. Are you with me? Okay. It does not decline. Normal way. Huh? 
Now, I'm sure you are strong. You have understood that dun dan din business. Okay? So we say Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Khalidun, Khalidan, Khalidin. Hamidun, Hamidan, Hamidin. How about Amina? Amina too. Next one, Aminata. And next one, Aminata again. It will not take Kasra. Huh? Even when it is Majroor, huh, brother? Even if it is Majroor, brother Muhammad, it will still show Fatah. Now, this is something new. I will be repeating it many times. So, inshallah, you will understand it. The thing that you should keep it in mind, two things, brother. Hmm? I'm writing in English first. Later on, we'll switch on to the Arabic. Huh? If the noun, if it declines completely in three cases, huh, which is marfu, mansu, and majrur properly, dun, dhan, then properly, we say it is triptoed. What do we say, brother? Trip. Taught. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? We say it is trip taught. And then the noun that declines, but not fully, we call it what do you call it? Dip taught. Okay, I'll explain again. Muhammadun, Muhammadan, Muhammadin. Complete declension. Are you with me, brother? Marfu, Mansu, Majroor, proper Dhamma, Fata, and Kasra. Come to Amina. It is Aminatu, Aminata, and again Aminata. It did not decline fully. It Decline a little bit and stopped. Are you with me, brother? Aminatu. Aminata. And again, Aminata. So we call it Diptot. Okay? These are the terms which the Western scholars of Orientals, Western scholars of Arabic, they have given from English language point of view. That this noun is, if I say the noun is triptoth, it means it declines fully. Are you with me? Kitabun, kitaban, kita, bin, bin. Bun, ban, bin. Are you with me? But when you come to Zainabu, Zainaba, and again, Zainaba again. Why? Because the noun is diptoed. Are you with me? That's just a bit. Okay. I had a very big class. And you know, in sometimes a big class, there's a lot of di- disturbance. And uh, people sometimes uh, are dis- disturbed. And they do not listen properly. They don't understand. I was explaining this. Then the brother raised his hand. And I said, he said, Brother Asif, could you please tell me what is this tip top? I said, brother, this is not a tip-top tailor here. <laughs> it is trip tote. It's not tip-top, but it is trip tote. Huh? You know, he, he somehow got the idea that I was saying the nouns are tip-top. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was very cute, you know. Anyway, so when it is trip tote, brother and sister, it means it declines fully. Dun dan din. And when it is Dip tot, it goes to dun, then dan, then stays at a dan. But we will still call it majroor. And that we will learn soon, inshallah. Huh? Okay, we'll learn soon, inshallah. So, brother, are you, are you now familiar with these two columns? 
And Sister Salma, the Akhilya, Sister Abir, Sister Naima, Sister Maimuna, is it clear, inshallah? Brother uh, Farooq, clear? Abdul Qadir, inshallah. Hmm? See, we always say Aisha, we have a sister Aisha. But then she is Aisha too. Are you with me? She is Aisha too. We have sister Fatima. But when you write it, it is Fatima too. But again, they, both of them are diptoed. Okay? They are both diptoed. Okay? Fine. Now, we come to yeah, Ikra Vaktub. Huh? Read and write by putting proper vowel signs at the end. Number one, brother. Hamidun. Hamidun. Number two. Zainabu. We cannot say bun, that would be wrong. Huh? Next one. Aminatu. Aminatu. Next one. Ammarun. Ammarun. Next one, brother. Sa'idun. Okay, and then? Fatimatu. And then? Maryamu. Very good. Not mun, mu. Next one, brothers. Aliyun. And? Khalidun. And? Abbasun. See, there is a shadda on ba. It's not written. But then we get used to it. Abbas. What is it? Abbasun. Okay. Next one, brothers. Aisha to sisters, Muhammad Dun. Okay, next one, Safiya to next one, Khadija to Masha. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, one is uh, one is triptote and one is diptote. Uh, you will remember that. Some names, you know, are feminine and they don't have tamar. But we will, inshallah, remember it. When you say Maryam, it's a name of a girl. When you say Zainab, it's a name of a girl. Okay? Like that. Right? So, but most of the time, you will see Tamarbuta. Or later on, we will go and learn that they can end with Alif Maksura. Huh? They can end with Alif Maksura. All these things we are going to learn slowly, slowly. But then, sisters, we must remember, every lesson in our book is like a brick. We make one brick, and we put it and build a wall, and eventually a house. So in every lesson, we are going to learn some new grammar rule, which will help us to understand the language better and in more detail, inshallah. Okay. This is done. Now we come to uh, Ba, part two. Okay, two more half jar, two more preposition. Can you see two more preposition in book? Can you see what are they, brother? Min and Ela. What is Min from? And Ela two. Are you with me? Again, al-baytu min al-bayti. Al-baytu marfu. Min al-bayti, the bayti became? Why? Harf jar. Because of harf jar. See, now there is a reason for us to understand. Why baytu became bayti? Why? What came in front of her? Harf jar came. Huh? Huh? Al Masjidu, brothers and sisters, Al Masjidu, Il Al Masjidi. Huh? What happened? Harfchar came. And Harfchar will make the ism majroor. That is why we are learning all these things, marfu. There is a reason for us to learn. And it will help us to understand, inshallah, everything in Arabic language, inshallah. Brother and sisters, so minal bayti. What is minal bayti? What sh- ha- ha- a minal bayti from the house. What is it from the house? Now, from Arabic grammar point of view, what will I call minal bayti? 
Jarun wa majrur. And it is a shibu jumla. It is a phrase. It is a phrase. And what is ilal masjidi? Jarun wa majrur. And shibu jumla. You will get used to shibu jumla, brother. These are beautiful things, you know. Okay? Fine. Now we start the lesson. Al mudarris. Min aina anta. Now see, min from aina, where? Where are you from? Min aina anta. Now remember the difference between man and min. Okay? When you will see aina followed by min, and even if there is no vowel sign, no kasra on min, you will always say min aina. We, it will never be man. Are you, are you with me, brothers and sisters? If I say here, I'm writing here, huh? see, I did not put any vowel sign on the first word. But you saw ain. So what will you say? Min aina. From where are you? Are you with me? And we do not analyze the questions. Don't attempt to analyze questions. Not till we are in the middle of book three. Huh? Just leave the questions aside. We will try to analyze the statements as much as it is possible. Huh? But not the whole book, brother. Uh, some, to get an idea. Huh? Okay? The question was, Menaina anta. Huh? Ana... Minal Yabani. Ana Minal Yabani. Japan. See, Min came. And then Al Yabani. Remove Min, it will become Al Yabanu. MashaAllah. Remove Min and it will become Al Yabanu. Put Min, Al Yabani. Got the idea? Ana. What is Ana? I know that. Mubtada. What is it? Mubtada. Is it marfu? Yes. yes, I told you. All these pronouns are marfu. Uh, and what we have a special name for these pronouns. Damirun munfasilun. Tell, repeat after me three times. Damirun munfasilun. Damirun munfasilun. Damirun Munfasilun. What is the translation in English? Detached. detached pronoun. Like detached house. Detached. They are independent. Okay? Standing on their own. And they are all marfu. And they will come in the beginning of the sentence. Most of the time. Okay, brothers and sisters. And they are marfu. And they are muptada. Will you remember that please? Inshallah. Now. Okay, if Ana is Muftada, where is the khabar? Min al Yabani is the khabar. So, what kind of a khabar is this? Jarun wa Majrur. Shibu Jumla. That is the khabar. So, brother, so far we have learned that khabar can be, huh? khabar can be one word. What did I say? Can be one word. Okay. Ana Mudarrisun. Where is the khabar? Mudarisun. Huwa talibun. So, huwa is muptada and where is the khabar? It is one word. Are you with me? It is one word. Anta talibun. So, where is the muptada? Anta. You are a student. Okay? And then, where is the talibun? Is the khabar. One word. Okay? Now, I say, Anta Minal Hindi. So, Anta is Muptada. Where is the Khabar? Minal Hindi. Jar Majrur. Shibu Jumla. So, see, the Khabar can be one word. If it is one word, it will be Marfu. Or it can be Shibu Jumla. Jar Majrur. We will learn more Shibu Jumlas. But right now, only jar majrur. Huh? Hiya, 
Hiya min al-yabani. She is from Japan. Japan. Huh? So Hiya is Mubtada. And where is the Khabar? Min al-yabani. Okay? Huh? Jar Mashur. Huh? Shibu Jumla Khabar. Huh? Okay? Anta, Anta, Min Africa. You are from Africa. So Anta is your Mubtada. Uh, where is the Khabar? Min Africa. What is Min Africa? Min came? Jar Majru, Shibu Jumla, Khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Huh? Very good. So, Mudaris is asking, Min Aina Anta, from where you are? Huh? Are you with me, brother Farooq? Huh? Brother, if you have any question, you can ask me. You can ask me in the break. You can ask me after the class is over. Inshallah, I will sit down and explain to you if you have any difficulty. Okay. What is the answer? Ana min al-yabani. Ana min al-yabani. Fine. Wa min, wa min and. Wa is and. Wa min aina ammarun. And where is ammar from? What is the answer? Huwa. See, he is not in front of us. Uh, so we are saying huwa. Huwa is gaib. Huh? Huwa min as-sini. So where is Mubtada, brother? Huwa. Huh? It's marfu. Huwa. Uh, where is the khabar? Min as-sini. What is min as-sini? Jar majru. Shibu jumla. Huh? Are you with me? Very good. Wa min aina hamidun. And where is Hamid from? Huwa min al-hindi. Huwa min al-hindi. So what is huwa? Mubtada. Hmm. And min al-hindi? Jar majrur, shibu jumla, khabar. When if you say khabar, you understand. But I want you to get used to jar majrur, shibu jumla. Huh? Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Aina Abbasun. Where is Abbas? Huh? Where is Abbas? What is the answer? Kharaja. Look at this word, brother. Kharaja. Kharaja. What is the meaning of it? He left. He went out. What is this, brother? What? It is verb. Oh. We should keep our pants down. Huh? The verb has come for the first time. We must celebrate. <laughs> this is the first word that has come in front of us, brother. We must stop everything. I told you in the beginning that this book one concentrates on teaching us many things about noun. Very little about verb. So for the first time in our study of Arabic language, a verb has come. Wow, that's a very auspicious day for us. Huh? We should study the verb very well. Huh? Brother, keep this thing in your mind. Huh? What did I say? Huh? I, I want to repeat again. Three times with me. Ready? If I show you this, what I'm asking you to do? Yeah. To repeat 14 pronouns. If you see my hands like this, repeat 14 pronouns. Ready? Hua, Huma, Hum, Hiya, Huma, Hunna. Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. One more time. Huwa, Huma, Hum, Hiya, Huma, Hunna, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. One more time. Huwa, Huma, Hum, Hiya, Huma, Unna, Anta, Antuma, Antum, Anti, Antuma, Antunna, Ana, Nahnu. Please make a special effort when you go home and memorize it. Thoroughly, thoroughly. Huh? Because it will help us to understand so many things beautiful. Okay, brother, now I'm writing here, Kharaja. Kharaja. 
Are you with me? What did you tell me? He left. Okay. He left. Fine. Brother, what is the Arabic of he? Hua. Is Hua there? Where is it then? Brother, this is a verb. What is it? What is the verb? Action. If there is an action, there is always a doer of action. Action cannot take place without someone doing it. Are you with me? If action takes place without someone doing it, then it is a miracle. Only Allah can do miracles. For us to do something, we have to do an action. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, whenever there is an action, there has to be a doer of action. What is it? Doer of action. Fine. What is action called in Arabic? Fialun. What is fialun? Worm. Huh? Worm. Okay. And the doer of action is called in Arabic? Fa'ilun. What is it called in English? Subject. What is it called in English? Subject of the verb. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? Whenever, brother Abdul Qadir, there is a verb, there has to be the subject, brother. Huh? They have a special relationship. Okay, they cannot, the verb cannot exist without a subject. They both are always together. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Yes. Huh? Fine. So, Haraja. Okay. You translated as he left. But I don't see who are there. I said it has to be there. Where is it, Sister Selma? The doer of the action is hidden inside the verb. What is it? It's hidden inside the verb. So we call it, where is the file? I ask you the question, where is the file? You will say, mustatir. What will you say? Mustatir. mustatir. What is the meaning of mustatir? It's hidden. Where is it hidden? Inside the world. Our mind can see, but our eyes cannot see. Are you with me, brother? Where is the file? Is mustatirun. Musta. T run. What is the English, brother? Hidden. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Where is the file in Kharaja? Where is the file in Kharaja? It is Mustatir. What will you tell me? Mustatir. Or you can say, for the first few days, you can say hidden. Later on, we'll say Mustatir. Huh? Okay. In what in what form is the file mustatir? It's damir, pronoun. Huh? He. Kharaja. Huwa huh? kharaja. Huh? So damir mustatir. Pronoun which is hidden. Huh? See, because it is he left. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Kharaja, what is the meaning in English? He left. So he is a damir. Is a pronoun. So pronoun is hidden. So for he is Damir. So if I say Haraja, where is the file? Damirun Mustatirun. Damirun Mustatirun. Means the file is in the form of a Damir and it is hidden. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. <coughs> now I want to tell you something very special about verbs, brother. 
I'm, all, I'm so glad that you are all here. And I'm going to tell you things you may not find in the books. Huh? Some of the explanation, you know, when you think and you work hard and when you stumble and you again work hard and then things become clear to you, brothers and sisters. The detailed explanation you will not find. Only a teacher can guide you. Okay, brothers and sisters. So I have to again say something to you, brothers and sisters. Everything good that I say is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, if my feeble mind makes any mistakes, that is the fault of myself. Okay? And if I will make some mistakes, I may not be 100% perfect in my explanation. And if I am not, you will all forgive me, brother. Uh, but inshallah, Allah will guide me. Allah will help me to make it easy to explain to you. And Allah will make it easy for you to understand it, inshallah. Fine. Now we come to the most important thing. Look at Kharaja. How many letters? Three letters. Huh? Okay. Kha. Ra. And then Jim. Huh? Okay. Kharaja is a verb. Three letter verb. All the verbs in Arabic language can be traced to the root of three letters. All the verbs. Okay? 99 point maybe you say 5%, 99.5% they are all three letters. What is point zero five percent There are four letter verbs. Huh? Okay. And I just tell you, because some of you are Urdu speaking, so I tell you, you know the word tarjama? What is the meaning of tarjama? To translate. See, tarjama. How many letters? So that is a four letter word. Are you with me? Huh? Okay, and then in the Quran you are very familiar with word waswasa. What is it? Four letter word. But there are very few. Again, one more example I give you. Zalzala. Huh? What is the meaning of zalzala? To shake. Huh? Okay, so what is zalzala? Four letter word. But there are few. 99.5% verbs are three letter verbs. Huh, brothers and sisters? Three letter verbs. You can trace it back. Take any verb in the Arabic language and you can go back to its root of three letters. So, so what scholars of Arabic language have done, they have given this a pattern. What is the pattern? Fa, a, la. That is the pattern. And it, is, it comes from fial. It comes from fial. What is it? Every verb in Arabic language, every verb in Arabic language has this pattern. What is the pattern? Fa, a, la. Fa, a, la. But Abdul Qadir, very few people will go in this much detail. So you learn properly and inshallah you will, you know, then explain to others all these things, you know. Fa'ala. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So in the word, in any verb, brothers and sisters, the root, we can go to the fa'ala. Okay? Now we call it Kha as a fa kalima. What do you call it? Fa kalima. Are you with me? Fa kalima. And what will you call ra? Ain kalima. And what will you call ja? Huh? So three letters. Huh? Take any verb. It will be fa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima. Badasan. 
But because we live in uh, a society which speaks English all the time, and then we have to teach our children these things so we can also refer to in the English language. What is this called in English? First radical. What is it called? First radical. Oh, radical. Huh? First radical. Are you with me? What do you call it? First radical. First radical. Okay, if this is first radical, what is this? <laughs> and what is this? Third radical. Huh? Always. So the, the root of the verb is either in three radicals, first, second, and third radical. Are you with me, brother and sister? Or if you go to Arabic, fa kalima, ain kalima, and lam kalima. Any verb that you take, brother. Any verb. Huh? I am so happy to meet some of my students, brother. When we sit down and do analysis of the Quran, we pick up a sentence in the Quran and we try to analyze it and understand how the sentence was constructed. And you come across verb and these students are able to trace it back to the root. It's so beautiful, brother. Inshallah, you will do it. You will all become expert. You and I, huh? we may not speak Arabic fluently, but we will become master of Arabic verbs. Inshallah. We will know Arabic verbs left and right. And brother, people run away from Arabic verbs. Huh? They say Arabic verbs, baap re baap. I did not say bob re bob. I said, Bab re bab. Oh, it's, it's difficult. No, brothers and sisters. Arabic words are beautiful. They are fascinating. They are enjoyable. They are vast. How vast they are? You can take Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean, join them together in vastness. Arabic verbs are more vast than Pacific and Atlantic Ocean joined together. But... They are fascinating. And we are going to learn. Okay. Now. Kha. Ra. Ja. What is it brother? Kha ra ja. What I put on the first kalima. Fa kalima. Fata. What I put on the. Uh, Ain kalima. And what did I put on the. Lam kalima. Fata. Are you with me? Fata. 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 First radical fata, second radical fata, third radical fata. Now, I write down another verb. Z, H, and B. Are you with me? Z, H, B. Okay. Do you see the pattern? Fa kalima fata, ain kalima fata, lam kalima fata. Sahih? 